hello you, and welcome to my Sclown tutorial. If you'd like to know how to create this look, then please stick around. This look is absolutely perfect for Halloween, and is basically just a skull and a clown mashed together. But yeah, very simple, but very effective, and I'm sure you can do it too. So you're going to start off by hiding your eyebrows by gluing them down, and then I'm just using a makeup pencil just you can use any sort of makeup pencil I'm using an eyebrow pencil and I'm just basically sketching out the sort of rough idea of what I want and here I am going ahead and just covering those brows yeah you want to get absolutely rid of them and I'm just taking some foundation and applying that to the top half of my face and you want to coat that just as you would normally and on the bottom half of my face I'm using the NYX SFX cream color in white and you just want to coat the bottom half of your face and yeah, just completely cover that. Now I'm taking a fine paintbrush and I'm just gonna go in with some black face paint or some black oil paint, whatever you have on hand. And I'm just starting to form the basic skeleton of the shape. So that's the cheekbones and the teeth. And as you can see, I've taken some black eyeshadow here and I've started adding some shade already. And yeah, you wanna do that in between the teeth and inside the cheekbone as well. Um, to get a nice blend, you want to sort of really pat on the colour lightly and build up slowly and use small circular motions and yet you will get a nice transition there. I think what's important with this step is you just don't overdo the shading, like don't add too much black because you can really ruin your peaks and make it look quite flat. Go back in with your paintbrush as well and go over the lines. This will really sharpen up your look and bring everything together. Just from extra fine little details, I'm adding some shadow also to the sides of the cheeks and on the jawline as well. Moving on to the eyes, so I'll be taking the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'll be applying that to my eyelids evenly. And I'll be taking the NYX Ultimate Bright Shadow Palette and applying the yellow on top of that. I'm really packing on the colour to create the strongest pigment as possible. Next, I'm using the NYX Epic Ink Liner and I'm starting to create the patterns around my eye. I'm also creating a winged eye look for this. And exactly the same as you did on your eyelid, you just want to get the jumbo pencil and apply that underneath your eyes. I'm packing on the red colour and really building up the pigment. Use your eyeshadow brush and really feather it out. And same again, going back with my eyeliner, I'll just be creating some patterns underneath my eye. You can even go back in with your eyeshadow and add some darker colours as it goes towards your eye. This creates more depth. I'm taking some black eyeshadow and just applying this on the outer corner of my eye and feathering it inwards as it goes towards the centre. I then take my NYX white eyeliner and just add even more simple details. And then of course you want to just repeat exactly the same steps on the other eye. The only difference is I'm using blue underneath instead of red. And then going in with some black face paint and creating the nostrils of the skull. Next I'll be taking the Kat Von D brow pomade in Lemmy Green and I'm taking a fine paintbrush and I'm just going to paint them on. I'm creating brows so they're kind of going upside down facing upwards and on the insides of the brows I'm going to feather them out just as you normally would as a normal brow. And I'm using a fine paintbrush because I wanted to get them as precise and as sharp as possible. Next I'll be taking some eyeliners, I'm using the NYX False Blacks in Midnight and Oxblood and I'll be applying them to my waterlines and then I'm going in with some concealer and I'm really sharpening these brows up, really defining the shape and really getting it as precise as I possibly can. Cross. Next I'll be taking the NYX SFX cream colours in yellow, red and blue and these go in this order as well on the neck and you just want to fill in each section and I'm not adding any details just yet. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's all. Once I'm nice and evenly done, I'm going in with some white and I'm starting to add some highlights. And you can just paint on top of it so you've got a subtle highlight, or you can wipe away some paint and then you can paint some white inside that, which gives it a stronger highlight. When I do this, I like to think about where the light is coming from. And of course, as always, blend it out.
Next, I'll be taking some black eyeshadow and some eyeshadow brushes and I'll be adding some shadow. Once again, think about where the light is coming from and slowly build your way up nice and carefully. To make it stand out a bit more, I paint over the lines as well. Now I'm just taking the shadow to the underneath of the neck piece and this is going to make the neck piece look as if it's actually sat on your body. And I'm blending in backwards and forwards motions and making it look so it's actually popping out of my skin. Feel free to use some dark brown eyeshadows as well if you prefer to make it look more realistic. Now I'm using the NYX White SFX Cream colour and I'm using a cotton bud for this to get the perfect circle and I'm just going to create the circles on the ends. And same again, I'm just going in with some black eyeshadow and I'm just adding some shade. And for the circles on the ends, I try to make them look as 3D as possible. Moving on to the final touches, you want to use your foundation you were using earlier and you want to create drips coming from your face down onto the skull. Blend the foundation upwards nicely so it looks as if your skin is actually melting. I am then using the next three steps to sculpt to simply contour my forehead and the sides of my head to give it a bit more dimension. I am then going in with some black eyeshadow and I'm just applying this underneath the drips. This is to make the drips appear that they are really on top of the skull. And this also really separates clearly the skull and the clown. Now for the dots on the eyes, I'm using Cryolon Aquacolor in UV Red and I'm just going to apply this with a cotton bud. And finally, get those lashes on. I'd just like to thank you so much for sticking around, I really do appreciate it. If you liked this video, please don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Goth Spectrum, and I shall see you later.